bad one. Your fall will be my ascension to the sea. Viceroy. I don't want this fucking cringe in my sight again. You wear the trappings of the Sith, you fight like the Sith, but this can be imitated, however. You lack a vital quality found in all Sith. Sith have no fear, and I sense much fear in you. You are a foolish old man who knows nothing of the dark side. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Gorgeous. Hello there. Help. And what can I help you with today? I heard her mommy. I won't leave you. Not this time. Then you will die. Aren't you a little fat to be a stormtrooper? Well, stay here and rot, you stuck-up bitch. Wait, who are you? I'm Luke Skywalker. Me and Han Solo and Obi-Wan are here to rescue you. Wait, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Yeah. So The remaining unvaccinated will be hunted The time has come. Execute Order 19. <laughs> you stuck-up, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder! Who's scruffy-looking? Do you actually like, do you actually do not like episodes 1 and 2? That's a very good question. And to answer that, I will have to go into some minor spoilers regarding the reviews. So a lot of people assumed that after I left the cliffhanger on the original trilogy that I pretty much hate the prequels. And the answer is no. I grew up with the prequels. I love episode one. I like episode two and I liked episode three. And then when I hit my teenage years, I went through that edgy time where I had to hate the prequels because Mr. Plinkett said so and everybody hated Jar Jar. But come nowadays, and especially with the sequel trilogy, which I also do like, I have come to appreciate the prequels more as an adult for its world building, its storytelling, and just the awesome sequences in the film. So I don't hate the prequels. I do think they have problems, but I don't despise them like everybody else does. Though I think out of all of them, I like Phantom Menace the more. So thanks for asking, man. <laughs> Uncle Owen! The SOAR 2 unit has a bad motivator! Look! Oh, your helmet is so big. Lord Helmet, what? You need it on the bridge, sir. Knock on my door! Knock next time! Yes, sir. Did you see anything? No, sir. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. Good! What's going on here? There's been a rebellion, sir. Don't worry. The situation is under control. I'm sorry, sir. It's time for you to leave. And so it is. Are you all right? I have a f***ing hole in my chest. Why didn't you block that one? I thought you had it. No! Could have used your help out there. How did that? Really bad, actually. Really bad. On ship. What'd you do to the droid? What'd you do to the Falcon? Falcon's a lot better shape than he is. Maybe it's not on fire. What's the left of him isn't on fire. Tell me what happened. You tell me first. You know what you are. What? You're difficult. Really difficult. You? You're a difficult man. Take it, General Grievous has been destroyed then. I must say you're here sooner than expected. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. 
Not yet. It's trees and land. Hey, honey, you might want to come take a look at this. Ted Cruz is about to say something to the Senate. As Admiral Akbar said in Star Wars, it's a trap! Oh, Space Christ. What? We are now entering a generational society where geek culture will be running the shots. Do you know what that means with Star Wars? It means the Senate is planet it is. Ah, great. At last, we will reveal ourselves to the planet Earth. At last, we will have revenge. And once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. Ted Cruz is a Republican, Palpatine! For the Republic, they have forgotten us! Have you done so, Roy? We're creating our own for good for all. God damn it! terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. <laughs> I find your lack of faith oh. disturbing. You have done well, Lord Vader. And now I sense we must focus all of our forces to crush this tiny cantina on Tatooine. What of the reports of the rebel fleet massing near Sullis? It is of no concern. Soon the cantina will be crushed and B. Arthur will be one of us. Why do we need B. Arthur? Silence! <laughs>